Hey, Chuck. Yeah. What do you want to do today? Mm, want to go to Murph? Yeah! Yeah! Let's, Let's go, go to Murph! Murph. And off we went to the Midwest RepRap Festival. It's in Goshen, Indiana. It's one of the bigger 3D printing conferences, and it was back for 2021. We got there late Friday evening where people were still setting up. We set up our booth and then we checked everything out. There were all kinds of printers there. It was a smaller crowd because of the COVID limitations, but we had a lot of fun. There was even the annual tug of war where they try to pull apart a glute bonded PLA print and still couldn't do it. I set up a few low cost 3D printers, including my Fabricator Mini. I got to talk to a lot of viewers, got some great feedback. Thanks to everyone who stopped by. I also brought along some 500% upsize Stemfy blocks for people to play with, and at the end of the conference, they had built a community robot. It was pretty cool. The highlight for me was when I got Joe Telling to help me build a Stemfy car. Stemfy.org has the parts to build a rubber band driven car. You download the parts, you 3D print it, and normally they fit on an Ender 3 bed just like this, and you can build it. It's nice and small, but I wanted to go big. So I printed a bunch of 500% upsized parts and made my own kit for a Stemfy racer. We used a bungee for the rubber band and some rope for the string. This is how it went. We're gonna build this, a Stemfy car. A Stemfy car? A Stemfy car. A Stemfy car. Well, we're gonna build it big. Big? How big? How big? 500% 500% big. scale. 500% big. It's really large. Can you help me? Yeah. I need help, yeah, Let's Joel. do it. I like big prints and I cannot lie. All right. Okay. What were these printed on? These were printed on a CR30. The belt printer. printer. Okay. These were printed on an Ender 3. Oh. Is there anyone you know of that can tell me more about it? There is a channel called Filament Friday. Filament what? Filament Friday. Filament Frame Day? Where you can see all this in action. You should watch it sometime. <laughs> and step one is done. Wow! Wow! Now the wheels. That spin? Whoa, that don't spin too great. Oh, I'm holding it, that's why. Yeah, if you're... <laughs> oh, now we got the pivot. The pivot. Oh, okay. Okay, now this is the pivot. What Chuck oh. is oh, loads like masterfully that. Oh. demonstrating is the pivot. This is what provides the energy to turn the wheel to make it go. Did you just dab on that? Now we're to this, we're to the front of it. Spacer. And twist. There All right. Go. So that goes on there like that. Oh, okay. Now, I wanna take this in here. Let's go around. And to there. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> well, we got rubber bands. Come on. How are we going to do that? Okay. Oh, man, you are good at that. This is why I brought them along. I tried to do that for 20 minutes over there and couldn't get it to work. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you, man. Oh, look at that. That's kind. Stempy 500, dude. Thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. And as always, high five. High five. On Sunday afternoon, we packed up our stuff, including all the Stemfy blocks, and it got pretty empty by Sunday afternoon before we left. But one thing I learned through all this is never leave your camera unattended. Hey, Jim. What's up, Joe? How's it going? It's going this good. Chuck's iPad. We're just going to make a movie and publish it to his YouTube channel. Well, he's not looking like that. That's a great idea. Hey, what should we do? He's right there, but he doesn't need to check over there. Yeah, move your head, move your head. I'm not touching you. I'm. Oh. Shh. We've been had. <laughs> Cheese it! <laughs> I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.